morning, Riverside. Today being the first Sunday of the month, we will celebrate communion. If you are joining us online, you can join communion on Zoom with Reverend Jim Keat. We have a lot of things happening this week on this third Sunday of Lent, so let's get to it. Peter Krasinski, world-renowned organist and silent film accompanist, returns to Riverside, prepared to be transported into the world of the 1927 silent film Metropolis, the grandparent of all science fiction movies, with a score improvised live on the Riverside organ on Tuesday, March 5th. Tickets are $20 for general admission and $15 for students and seniors. Next up for this week in Lent is our Executive Minister, Reverend Dr. Lisa Weaver. Thanks, Natalie. This week we're having Lenten prayer service on Wednesdays at noon and in the nave and online at 6 p.m. And on Friday is our fourth dance and organ meditation at noon and online, featuring Eddie Zhang from the Juilliard School and Jeremy Vias. Back to you, Natalie. Thanks, Reverend Lisa. Be sure to tune in this Wednesday for Reverend Lisa preaching at Space for Grace. Dinner is at 6.30 p.m. and service starts at 7 p.m. So come and worship with us this week. On Saturday, March 9th at 11 a.m., the Riverside Church Book Club is collaborating with Riverside's African Fellowship to discuss gender as it relates to women and girls in Nigeria. The moderator is the vice chair of the African Fellowship, Yemi Abioye. The Reverend Dr. Prathia Hall was a civil rights activist whose work was grounded in social justice, Christian practice, and womanist thought. Of Hall, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once said that she was the one platform speaker I prefer not to follow. She is also the one who coined the phrase, I have a dream. Come hear Dr. Courtney Pace discuss her scholarship on the life and legacy of Reverend Dr. Prathia Hall. This event is followed by the Riverside Chamber Series, Prohibition Recital with featured artist Liz Lang. Every piece in this recital has gone through some sort of censorship, either because of the race, religion, or sexual orientation of the poet, composer, etc. From jazz singer Bessie Smith, to the widely condemned explicit poetry of Charles Baudelaire, to the banning of several compositions of Eric Korngold due to his Jewish heritage, there's sure to be something here to thrill and scandalize. To learn more about what's happening here, check out our website, scan the QR code in your bulletin, read our weekly emails, download our app, or simply approach any of us for further details. Have a great week.